Good morning. Today we discuss Bitcoin and we discuss how much dollars it will go up today or down because in the past few days it's been moving with a few hundred dollars a day, which is amazing. It is great to have a new stable coin, which is called Bitcoin instead of USDT. Um, as then the discussion regarding Tether FUD or whether Tether is backed is not there anymore because we have got Bitcoin, right? But um, today discussion all around few of the markets. Uh, I wanted to make a video about Grayscale unlocks that's going to be posted tomorrow. Right now I'm just checking the markets for you in which we discuss some altcoins that have been moving heavily too, um, which got the hype in the past few days. Um, but you shouldn't be really focused on the ones that are moving too heavy at all. So let's discuss Bitcoin first, but before that, do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel beneath and also check out uh, my Instagram and Twitter as there I'll be posting content as well. And this morning I'll be making a video with a Dutch partner of me. Uh, we've done a video earlier and now we're going to make a very cool new one as well. So I have to head out in a little bit after shooting this update. So let's get to the markets as Bitcoin and a Bitstamp chart. Um, I've got a quite clean chart discussed it yesterday too, in which we were stating that the market is in between decisions, right? So we've got this spring with the high volume. It's not too high because it's on Bitstamp. But if you check the other um, exchanges, you can see that the volume was quite high. What we see here, instant rejection, higher low established, um, higher high. You could also say it's a breakout above range, which is failed, um, broke south, 33K retest, all discussed. So now we've rejected at 35 and we came down all the way again, meaning that the market is looking for another higher low. Um, and if that is found, the decision for a big breakout will become next week, or at least the compression that's being built up is significantly well, uh, compressing even more through which the actual breakout seems to be happening during next week. So what are we looking at right now? This entire scenario is still the case at this stage. And I'll just erase it a little bit so you can see what I mean by that. We've lost this entire support level at 33.3. You can see that the price has been acting towards it. Therefore, um, in order to get a test here, I'd prefer to see a breaker and flip of 33.3 in which price comes back down, retest or back up, retests, and then you can continue moving as then probably you will be seeking for a new higher high after this slight trend. So right now we are rejecting, meaning that there is a very ch good chance that during the weekend we'll be dropping towards 31 to make another higher low to reclaim this support therefore the Wyckoff structure is still valid as well and then we are bouncing back up um, towards the 33k level and potentially even towards this critical level as well so the levels that you should be watching is in general this 33.3k zone second you should be looking at 35 and on the downside i would not be eager to long here at all i would be looking at a flip of 33 and then second i'd be looking around the 31.6 range which most likely could be a uh, temporary bottom if this entire green zone is not going to hold so if 31 is not going to hold i suspect that we're going to tumble down and this entire downtrend continues so what about altcoins at this stage? Well, Ethereum has rejected on a critical level as well, as you know. Um, we couldn't hold or couldn't break 2400, um, and therefore we could not continue moving towards the next level. So when I zoom in on Ethereum against USDT, you see that this level was the area where I wanted to take a long entry, and that's the level that I'm watching at this stage. We got there again, so you can get triggered once again, meaning that um, right now we are probably consolidating a little bit. We might even test 22.8 uh, 22.80 again. Um, that will be quite bullish in which we are continuing the higher low structure. But the more important part for Ethereum here is that we are consolidating. We rejected at the first level of resistance, which used to be support. Most likely a fairly normal chance is that you get a retest of the low. So when you look at previous structures of consolidation, you can see that Ethereum, but also other altcoins and assets, 
make a bounce up, retest the low, reject there, consolidate, and then the trend starts to crawl back upwards. If we look at the structure here, you can see that we've got a bounce, reject, do another retest of the low, which is similar to this retest here, then make a bounce up to reject at the critical level that's, that's constructed here and consolidate before we start to move further upwards. So I'll just get a clean chart so you can see what I mean by that. Right now we can see with Ethereum that we've got a rejection here, right? Also we've got this bounce and we reject at a critical level. What you'd be seeking is that we generate a new higher low for Ethereum at this stage. And there's a range where you should be looking at and that's this entire structure given that this is the previous resistance zone flipping for support and could be flipping for support here through which you can see a higher low being established. And in that case, the copy paste of this entire structure that's been made in September and October is that you usually will see that we are landing around 1800 to 1950, make another run up and start making those higher lows, higher highs until we crack this 2.9k level and get a new impulse wave going. That is fairly much what we're looking at right now. However, some altcoins have been moving heavily already and AXS is one of those, um, also fueled by usage at this stage. But if you can see that critical level was holding and since then AXS has been making a very heavy move on the Bitcoin pair of 450%. Does that mean, based on the daily time frame, that you should be looking at an entry point right now? No, because then you're chasing FOMO. If you want to take the best entry on those altcoins, you have to look at lower levels for potential entries. For our order block, daily order block, support resistance flip, best entry point at this stage. So you're looking at some bits in those ranges. If you're looking at the bit into the 4 hour order block, you're decreasing the size of your trade given that you're buying significantly higher, uh, higher. Sorry. So at this stage we see a slight bounce, but you can see that probably we'll be getting towards those lower levels. And I'll keep updating this as this one got very much into the spotlight in the past week. And then usually people are interested in getting into this altcoin at this stage. However, DeFi has been doing well too, uh, Aave has been doing well, um, Ivy has been doing well, Compound and Synthetix of course, but there are still many uh, DeFi protocols at this stage not running yet and you want to get into projects that are not in the spotlight yet so you'll be able to sit in your position nicely once uh, everybody on Twitter starts to shout about it. One of those is Curve which is just still consolidating in this very long range of entirely 20 21 but since October it has been acting in the sideways range So this is one of the protocols that I'm looking at or in general just giving you the idea that you should be looking at projects That are not moving too much yet because that is where you can make your ROI So that's my update for today. Do not forget to subscribe beneath and like this YouTube update I'll be back tomorrow with fresh new content